Hello and welcome, this is STR8. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's see if we have better luck than last time. This is uh, pretty rough, still haven't won one yet, so let's do... Hmm. Let's see maybe no hook and see if we do a little bit better. That's just an item difference, but having the clover for a reroll um, might be more useful than having a hook. All right, here we go with our set. Let's see how far we get this time. All right, what can we get? Can we get anything that can poison the dudes? Yes, ringworm. And how about, I still don't know what the mirror does. I think that's a power mirroring. Um, it only takes one blood, so let's try it. Okay. And we are going to intentionally infect this campfire with three more so that they will be gone next time. Don't eat me, please. I'm not that tasty. Oh, wow, that's vicious. Only two hits, and they took one. <clears throat> and we got bones to make up for not having our angler's hook. Time for a fight already. Got a wolf cub incoming, so what should we do? I guess putting down a bullfrog or a stoat would be a good idea. There we go. Okay, and let's say we go ahead and put down we'll put down our little Cthulhu monster here. Okay. It'll at least be on guard for a minute. We can go ahead and sling on a bullfrog and start taking down that stump. Okay. Wow, he gave up pretty quickly. I guess he ran out of cards. And we should be able to go to the fire this time, so let's check it out. Alright. How about a bone? Rattler. That's not the best. Just a little high on the cost. I think getting the turkey vulture are a little bit overvalued. Alright, so this is a uh, power upgrade. So, who would be a good fit for that? Kind of an insanely strong rattler, but kind of like the idea of a cheap bullfrog or stoat being part of that. So, I guess let's do the stoat. There we go. It's only two levels, but still. Having a guaranteed two is pretty sweet. Alright, so we could deploy the stoat right away against the sparrow. And that would be a good thing. Okay. Let's see about putting our um, tentacle monster over here. There we go. I think it will close the gap soon enough. I don't think it, they'll be able to turn us around since we're going to put down a wolf too. There we go. Okay, it's practically a moot point now. Nice, at least we got some excess. Alright, is it boss time already? Jeez, went by quickly. Oh, it's a gamble. If you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Alright, show me where to strike. Let's go right. Oh, well sweet. Well good. Now we'll have something to do with uh, the pelt trader. So I feel like going to Woodcarver would be a good idea since we got bones over there already. And let's see what they're up to. Ah, the ants. Gotta have it. That's a great one to have. Okay. That'll be very useful if we can get the squirrel head. That kind of just wins the day. 
I've had several good runs because of that. All right. If we get the stood on the board, that would be ideal. We might save it. Um, actually, we'll put it on early, and we'll match the power of the wolf when the time comes with the um, mirror dude. Okay. Uh, didn't even have to come to that. Having that overpowered stoat is a big help. In case it's a trapper. Alright, good. Now, can we get a golden pelt? We can. Excellent. Let's see. Don't see a trader on the board, so let's do a couple power ups. All right, health upgrade. Who needs it? I guess the Rattler needs it to make it viable. Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna make it worth having on the board. All right, now we could have a pretty nice powerful bullfrog. Might as well. There we go. Now we're starting to talk about having an army here. Feeling better and better now. And this is an actual boss fight. I need to look around the room too and see if I can work on puzzles or not. I never did take the time to do that, so that could be part of why I'm not doing the hottest yet. Alright. Could get the bones started with the smoke and uh, put down this guy shortly after. I think we'll just keep what we have. Afraid to put too much power on the board only to have him come after us. Okay. And having a full-blown wolf to take out the coyote seems like a good idea. We'll also get three hit points on the mule when it comes by. Okay. put a tentacle monster that matches the coyote and we'll be able to survive its attack as well. There we go. Okay. Alright, that is the end of our coyote. Another golden pelt. It's not going to help as much, is it? Um, I guess it's time to ring the bell. Gotta get another one of these. And a rattler. Good. That gives us some power. And that's all we can really do right now. That'll take out the pack mule next turn. Good. Now I think we have a shot at a good win now. Good. Good. Only really lost two cards on this one. I can handle that. Alright. This one does card counting. Value represented something. I don't know. I need to look these up. Maybe we'll put down the Fearless Stoat, but it'll die pretty shortly after getting put down. That's the only problem. Maybe a bat would be a good idea. Okay. I need to draw before I do anything, though. Alright. That it is. Down something a little more adventurous like the stoat to go after the dog. We get it's uh should kill it in one hit actually, so that's good. 
Okay, I don't think there's any recovery from this for the prospector. Got him. Hey, Wizard Max, how are you doing? Nice to see you again. Haven't seen you in a while. I've been playing Inscription lately. I finished playing um, Metal Gear Solid 5 a few weeks ago and have been playing this. Largely unimpressive specimen. I think it gets pretty strong though, so we may take it. It's good to see you again. Oh, and the Mantis God. That's always a good one. We'll do the larva. Have you played an inscription before, wizard? Oh, okay. Well, this is an excellent game, and I definitely recommend it if you uh, are interested in card battling games. Let's say just try it out. Try not to read too much about it. Oh, you've watched it some before. Okay. Yeah, I, I've i really enjoyed it. It's made me happy. I think I'm going to go to the wood carver for this one. Okay. Raven sounds like a good pick. It's only two blood. Alright, have a squirrel head for me, please. Oh, we have a bug head. And a bird head. Hmm. What do I have in my hand? Do have a raven. Guess we'll take the bird head to start. It's not ideal, but it's something. Okay. Sigil fight, I think. Alright, let's see if we can make this work. Okay, got a porcupine raven egg coming in, so I could put down a stoat, and that'll be the end of that, but we really don't want those ravens hatching, so we'll make it work. Alright, I think we're going to have to pass, we got an elk fawn coming in. And the stoat will take it out as well. Just in time to get the raven egg, I believe. So, I think if we can get the wolf deployed, we'll have a pretty good setup going here. So we'll do that next. I'll just go ahead and put it right next to the stoat. Good. Game over already. All right, nice and quickly. All right, picking a beast. Um, I think we'll do that so that we can maybe pick another bird or something and go along with our um, little system we have. Um, here we go. Okay, that's acceptable. That's another one that we can use our sigil with. And time for a sacrifice. Who do we want to put out? I kind of hate to do any of these, actually. Um... Hmm. Perhaps we'll do the Kingfisher and we'll give its attributes to the strange larva if we can. That'll make it more viable during um, its way to strength. Okay. Gives it a lot of power. Oh, thank you, wizard. I uh, really enjoy this kind of playing games in a chill way, kind of narrating as I go, trying not to distract too much from what's going on, so I'm glad you enjoy the style. Okay, Raven Egg is incoming and an Elk Fawn and two snowy furs blocking the way in a couple paths. We can go after that raven egg first thing that would be ideal and we do have enough power to lay down a soak card so i think we're going to do it there we go having porcupine isn't a too big of a threat so we can handle that and let's see can we actually sacrifice a snowy fur hmm not sure i should have tried it but 
I was afraid to uh, take the turn up or something and then waste a squirrel. Uh, wizard, you've been following me for quite a while now, actually. It's been months at this point because I think it, um, that may have been back when I was playing Baba is You and I'll have to check my list, but that was a while back. You're definitely one of my earliest followers. <laughs> Okay, and a worker ant. So, let's see. I think this will work for now. The raven should be able to do some good damage on the elk. Um, you know, I don't know if I have that. I haven't tried that. Is it just a uh, install for the uh, chat? If it is, I, I probably haven't done it yet. Oh, time for the rattler. Perfect. This should make a recovery for us, I believe. Or at least come very close to it. Hey, there we go. Ah, that was close. I was getting a bit worried there. Alright, we could choose the beast and then the item, or we could go towards the woodcarver. And I'm tempted to say woodcarver just in case we get a squirrel head. Ah, the pronghorn. And a mantis. Okay. Hmm. I think I'll go with the pronghorn on this occasion. Now we're back to the wood carver. Let's see what they've got today. All right, the insect head, airborne, and. The uh, reptilian head. Let's see how much we have. Well, the bullfrog would be in the reptile family, I believe, and I think the larva would be inside of um, the bug. And maybe we'll take this snake head and we'll go ahead and put it together. Here we go. Time for a fight. Okay, just in time. I need to be able to get rid of that alpha quickly, so I think that will play nicely, actually. Um, let's go ahead and knock it out. Okay. And we should be able to get the strange larva started up too. Here we go. Okay, now it's a strange pupa. I think it'll be able to survive that round. And I guess we need to get the worker ant on the game to take out the porcupine that's coming our way. Alright, the Mothman cometh. Now we need to figure out the best route to protect us against the damage that's coming from that raven. Unfortunately, I think we're just going to have to put a squirrel down for protection for the moment. The Mothman will Get us uh, righted. There we go. Having that airborne power um, helped us a big bit there, I think. Okay. Pelt trading time. So I think I already have a kingfisher. Let's see. I actually, I sacrificed it. So I could get ravens and then do a double on the map. Um, have I already upgraded it? No, I haven't. Or I could do a double up of our mirror dude. That might be interesting and really hard to stop. I think I'll do that. 
and then we have gold pelts. So we have Ouroboros and Amalgam and the Mole Man. Um, those are all really nice. I think I'll take a Mole Man for some defense. Okay, now what do I have duplicates of? I do have dupes of the mirror thing, so if I could combine them into one, that would be pretty sweet. Unfortunately, there's also a wood carver, so that's tempting, but I think I'll go the duplicate route. Here we go. There we go, nice. Now let's check out this next thing. It is a sacrifice. So, who do we want? Hmm. Well, this is tough. Thinking pronghorn, though. There we go. I think that it gave us some uh, bones to start matches with, so that's good. Okay. Another boss fight. Alright. How are we going to take them out? That's a good start, getting us some uh, ants that we can play. And having Ouroboros is always a good sign. Okay, I think that we should play the smoke somewhere, so might as well play it right here. And we can do, I guess, the bullfrog. We need to sacrifice something to the trap, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and do bullfrog versus the trap. All right, and that gives the worker ant back. Okay, and let's see. Guess another worker ant. All right. Uh, see stoat would get sacrifice and that kind of stinks but let's put down the worker ant at least protect against things a little bit it's a freebie card too so gotta have it i could leave the rabbit in the way to block some of the incoming damage as well all right and i think we're gonna need to put frog or something in front of the strange frog this is going to keep damaging us I hate to throw out the stove that soon but i know we should have a trade event after this so here we go okay um let's see so they're going to spring those two traps we're going to be in a little bit of trouble so what can we do? I think I'll just go ahead and draw a squirrel and maybe I could go ahead and use this so that I can play Ouroboros on the rabbit and start putting some damage over there because we're going to have problems soon. So don't like it a whole lot, but I think we got to do something. This might be the end of it. I'll let him go too far. Yep. Oh man. Well, that's a reset there. I forgot to get up from the table and look to see if there's anything else I could have done, so let's just try the same run again. This time I will back up a little bit and see if there's anything I can do in the room. Because I did mean to check that and I didn't last time. A pronghorn and a mole, that's going to be a hard combination to pull off, but 
we will take it for now. Okay, let's see. I just don't think that the puzzles are active like they were before, because usually there's like a little lamp collecting smoke. So, thinking that they're not going to be there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Needed a pronghorn, and what was our other thing we needed? I think a mole man, right? Yes. Or uh, not a mole man, but a uh, mole. Okay. Hmm. I feel like if I could upgrade the alpha, that, that would be very nice. So we'll take it. And I'd like to get ants as part of our army this time around. Okay, I think we'll just, let's see, hmm, I guess another squirrel could come in handy. And it's time for a battle. Worker ant and ringworms. Lovely. Okay, we will take out the worker ant with a bullfrog. We'll at least get some damage on it. <laughs> it's gonna be a short-lived fight though with uh, them having so much... They're already having two ants against me now. It's a little dangerous. They're gonna get stronger too. Oof. Um, I don't really know what to do about that. Put the alpha down and also put a squirrel down and that'll give it attack power at least. But they're gonna recover a lot really quickly. Ah. Oh, conceded. Well, that's kind of weird. I wouldn't have imagined that. Alright. Beehive. We get a bee with one power and one health and airborne. I think I'll do corpse maggots. And I don't think I have a thing I could sacrifice to poison them. There is a wood carver over that way. A sigil fight. And let's see Trapper. This might be the better out. As much as I enjoy the fireside thing without having the rings. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, looks like wolves and birds. Maybe we should go with the wolf. And they're sitting in a bee. I suppose an ant would be okay. We'll set up a bullfrog for the next guy. I think this is going to be a quick win by look at things. It's just a rush of bees, that's all it is. <laughs> we can take that hit. Alright, time for a wolf. Okay. Now let's get some more pelts. I think we did a little bit of excessive damage. Oh, I guess we didn't have any. Well, okay then. At least we got a pelt. Better than nothing, right? Do you have any pets? Uh, yes, I have a couple of dogs. They are very active and um, 
Very silly. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe we could do that and put down that on the alpha. Do you have any pets, Wizard Max? Oh, nice. I like cats too. They're really nice. A very evil cat. Uh-oh. Gotta watch out for the evil cats. <laughs> the adder is gonna get me. That's not good. Thankfully, the alpha came in for free and it's going to take it out. Um, let's see. We got a bullfrog on the way, too. That's a lot of fun. Let's sacrifice these out and we'll power up our wolf next to the alpha. Here we go. And the stump was able to attack the bullfrog, too, because of the alpha. That's pretty funny. Now we're going to make this squirrel kill the bullfrog. <laughs> Oh man, I like having this automatically deployed alpha. It saves me having to use bones too. Nice. Alright. Um, I don't know if upgrading the worker ant makes a lot of sense for having a duplicate. Rattler, somewhat viable if I could get it powered up. Um, same thing with the cockroach. Both of these are kind of frustrating, but I think I'll try the Rattler. Am I ever angry? Oh, yes, of course. Um, definitely anger from time to time, but, you know, playing games is one of the least uh, stressful times I have in a given day, so it's, it's a nice time to relax. <laughs> Some games can be frustrating. Like, I'm playing this Casey's mod, and it is much more difficult than the uh, base inscription, but I'm still having a good time with it, though. Oh. That sounds interesting. We'll try the bones attachment. Hey! Welcome, uh, Garbrel Gamer. Not sure how to pronounce that one, but welcome. Thanks for following. Alright. Time for a fight with the angler. I think it, of all the boss fights, I might like this one the least just because of the difficulty of it using the hook against you, it's uh, always tough. So how are we going to take this out? Kingfisher. I think a good counter to that might be the worker ant. Um, but the bullfrog would break its airborneness, so I might do that instead. Okay, and we'll put down the smoke here in a little bit. All right. So whatever we play next is gonna be attacked by the angler. So maybe I could put down a squirrel and with it pulling it over, that'll at least block off one of its lanes from being able to help him out. Oh, wait, he stole my alpha. Oh, that's not ideal. Um, hmm. well, okay then. Let's uh, play the smoke in front of the alpha, and we will get a worker ant on the board. <laughs> I 
Okay then. I'm gonna pack rat. Interesting. So if I put it in front of the alpha, I don't think he'll be able to take it. So I think I might actually sacrifice the two of them just to spite him. Because he shouldn't be able to grab it, I believe. Or he might be able to since I destroyed that other card. Okay then. Um, I should have used an item earlier. So that's uh, my bad. Okay. And rabbit pelt. That's not going to help us much. This run might be over before it began. And a rattler. Okay. Excellent. That should be able to take out both of those guys with excess damage. And um, it's going to join the other side, unfortunately. But. Huh. I think I'm going to need to use the plier here. Let's see how it goes. And we'll pull out another card, and it is a stoat. So, burning cards at a high rate, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to beat the angler just based on the amount of damage we're doing, but we'll keep going. Anything's possible, right? <laughs> I think it. I think that they're going to win this war, though. It's not looking good. That's uh, the difficulty of Casey's mod, is it just uh, takes and takes from you. Alright, you can have my squirrel. That's about all I have left to play. I don't think we'll be able to take out the Great White. Let's just see. Ugh. Yeah, that's GG. Um, I can just play Squirrels until he gives up, but I don't think I can actually concede, funny enough. So we'll just have to keep playing until it beats me. Ugh. I'll just put Squirrels down everywhere. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Gruesome. Man, that is probably one of the worst losses to the angler I've had yet, but. Ah, it's the way the cookie crumbles. We'll try for um, one more run in Casey's lot. See if we have better luck. I've done these other two in about 20 minutes, so they're moving along quickly. The first one was going really nicely, at least I thought. Um, so let's try again. Hopefully I'll get a ringworm here in a second. Uh, let's see. Here's an ant queen. That would be kind of nice to have. And a great white and an alpha. Sparrow, cockroach, and rat king. And our energy matching, or power matching uh, tentacle monster. Let's take a rat, or an ant queen. And how about this guy? If we can get some sigils on it, it'd be really nice as well. Alright, let's see. Who might we want to power up? Or do we want to sacrifice something on somebody? An ant queen on a wolf could be interesting. Um, hmm. Well, we could get two woodcarver visits. And more words let's do that see if it pays off I'm looking for the squirrel ant combo if I could get that that would just really be a good setup I guess we'll go with the wolf head I 
Okay. We'll let the raven egg go after the fur, and we'll get the stoat started on the um, mole. Hopefully we'll get an ant queen going soon as well. Okay, time for the ant queen to do her thing. There we go. And we could get a worker ant out of the stoat. And that'll power them up. Okay. Puts our total power on the board up a bit higher than it would have been if we left the stoat to do its thing. And then we can send a bullfrog out to block the raven. Okay. And let's keep going with that. Here we go. I think we're going to overwhelm the raven. There we go. This is what I needed to have. That'll be a good compliment to the raven. It's giving me trouble. Good. I turned around pretty quickly. And let's head for the woodcarver. Alright. I think I have a wolf head. I could get a second wolf. I think I will do the second wolf route. Uh, let's see, a rabbit generator. Or we can have bones. I think I'll take rabbit because that would at least count as sacrifices. It could be made to uh, other things. So let's give it a try. Okay, and a raven egg to take out. That sounds like a good job for the stoat to start. Start her up, stoat. And fortunately that alpha is going to come in and mess with our plans. So maybe we need to get the wolf on the case. There we go. I kind of hate to have to throw out the stoat that quickly, but that's the way it's got to be. And that fur tree attacking us isn't a good situation, but it's only one hit at a time. So let's see what we draw here. Another wolf. Hmm. I think we'll just need to wait. And we will get the wolf to take out the fur. Oh, got to put another one down. There we go. And I moved too quickly again. There we go. I'm going to get a rabbit so we can put down the bullfrog. Okay, well this sigil is working out nicely. Oh, yeah. And we got some teeth. All right, prospector is coming for a visit. All right, we're gonna go. Let's see. Anybody want to call a card? Left, middle, right. Give it just a couple of seconds, and we'll pick one together. Left, middle, or right. Any takers? Middle. All right. Middle it is. Oh, winner. I was going to go left. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. And my good luck charm. All right. What can we do? I think I'm going to risk a power up because it's just too enticing to skip. But we could move a power on somebody. No one really has anything worth doing, though. Um... Let's just do a power up. All right, who needs it? I would say Stoat needs it the most. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go for two, and we're gonna stop. 
There we go. Woo! Now the stoat has some firepower behind it. Okay. Have a raven egg coming in. It'll take two hits, so let's get our bullfrog started on it. Because it's also going to be an airborne creature otherwise, so we'll get some HP knocked off of it. And I think with the elk fawn, we could just go ahead and mirror its energy when it comes in and be able to take it out. So we'll put it in that lane because I don't think it will be able to attack it otherwise. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And let's uh, keep going. Definitely wanted that elk fawn out of the way. Now we can send out our wolf against the raven. Okay, and we get a rabbit. And I think it will have just enough to survive this. Yes, because now we have the powerful stoat. We should be good. Good. Getting a lot of teeth on this round. All right, pick a beast. I think we'll go that route. We'll take another wolf. Nice. It's good because that's what I have sigil on, so I think we're getting a nice powerful setup. Alright, a sacrifice. Um I guess of the two. Oh, I can't see my cards. Um Maybe the Ant Queen wasn't meant to be. We could put her power on say this guy would be kind of a weird one but we'll take it oh thank you I've uh, been playing this for I guess maybe three weeks now and I've really enjoyed it it's been a ton of fun all right increase the health of something I guess we'll do one of the wolves all right think it we will pull back. And sometimes it can die on the first power up too, I've seen, so I don't want to risk it beyond the first one. Alright. Trapper boss battle. Let's see if we can ace it real quick. Alright, sending out a bullfrog. Set of traps everywhere. That's interesting. Um, could put smoke down in front of one of the strange frogs just to buy a little time. And I think that I will put a stoat in front of the bullfrog. Okay. we're just going to have to put something down in front of these guys so let's go ahead and do this guy since we know we're going to get an ant out of it anyways it's got to clear the board of those traps because they're uh, a menace to us get past the first candle anyway, so it's not bad. Okay. You only got one pelt out of all that. Hmm. 
well. Let's see what else we have. We already have one worker ant on the board, so having two of them would be pretty powerful. I'm trying to think of if any of these are a big threat. I've already got a lot of wolves myself, so I don't know about having another wolf cub. I do have my sigil power, however, I think. But worker ants calling to me. So let's try it out. Thank you, wizard. Always enjoy having you as a member of the gang watching. Let's uh let's send out this worker ant to this lane. I think that, that might be our best advantage. The stoat's gonna take out these two. Um this one won't get anything because the power match. Um, River Otter will be taken out by the Worker Ant once we have another powered up Worker Ant there to help on the board. So I think this is going to go our way. There we go. And we will start saving up here. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Okay. What do we have? The Yure Yuli and the Mole Man and the Long Elk. I always have a hard time using the Long Elk. Um, however, it's very tempting because I don't have many that consume bone and just having blood is kind of a uh, risk. Oh, you don't have to be here every stream. Just, you know, like as you enjoy watching, you know, I don't have any expectations of um, followers, you know, coming in uh, to watch everything. Like I understand. I don't play at a regular schedule either too, so it, I understand it could be very difficult to catch me too, so that's no problem. Heard the howling of wolves greeting the morning sun. And we're back in the woodlands. I think I'm happy with my sigil so far, so I'm tempted to go this upgrade route. And this is the challenge one where we have to have different types. Um, I think that might be a likely one. All right, well, two of the same kin, that would mean getting two of the wolves, and for the attack power, I think I can definitely meet that, so we're gonna go with that one. Yep, got it. So which one do we want to take? Let's see, Hoarder on a card bearing a sigil. It's played, you search the deck for any card and take it into your hand. And a pronghorn that is a multi-attacker and generates bones. A shoving bloodhound. Man, this is a crazy pick. Um, with blood. Oh, man, this is hard. And a waterborne mole. That means it's going to last a long time, I think. Well, I want to go pronghorn. Yeah. Long Elk does look like a long horse. <laughs> I want to do the boulder. That would be nice to have some defense. Okay. So we have a fur, and we have a wolf cub, and a sparrow coming in. Hmm. Stoat would be able to take out wolf cub immediately. Sparrow is going to be a bigger problem, so I think I might send the bullfrog to, to handle the wolf cub. Okay. Oh, and there's a wolf behind it. That's not good. So, let's see if we can get rid of this sparrow, perhaps. We'll at least be uh, trading equal blows for a moment or two. And an alpha is coming in. Wow. It's getting painful right off the bat. 
Maybe we need to get the pronghorn on the board. Hmm. Well, we can play our boulder as well. I think I'm going to need to do both, actually. This is just a unfortunate situation. Let's do this and this. We'll put this down here. And we'll put the boulder there. And we'll start punishing the wolf. Okay. Should have maybe looked at the scales before I did that. I just kind of panicked a bit. Okay. We could get an item and I'm blanking on what this one is. A little X. Hmm. I think it's a sacrifice something. Whoa. Yeah, we'll definitely take this static key card. That sounds like something useful. And I think this is a sacrifice something. What would we want to do? Maybe letting one of our wolves go. Wonder if we're supposed to sacrifice this thing. Three, four, three, two. We'll do this one. Oh, your English is not bad. It's just fine. Let's see. Bullfrog. Could take out the sparrow, or we could take out the coyote. But it's going to attack pretty hard. Maybe we'll take out the sparrow since it's going to do airborne damage otherwise. And we'll just have to let that keep going. And there's a coyote behind it. That's not good. Really not good. Alright. Well. We need to take out several things here now. Um, the wolf. We'll be able to take them out in one swing. But that damage from that sparrow is going to get us. So I think it, we're going to have to do the tooth pulling have a chance at survival. Um, so let's do it. Okay. And that'll have to be it for now. Alright. We can get the pronghorn started in on the attack. Unfortunately, that coyote is going to take out my wolf. So, let's do the pronghorn. Huh. It attacks here, then it'll get hit one, then it'll get destroyed by the coyote. So, I think it's going to have to go over to the side. If it starts here, it'll be one hit, and then it'll travel over, and then it'll hit that. So, I think that, that might be the best spot to have a chance at winning this match. There we go. Okay, and now we just need to block some of this energy heading our way. So we will block this arrow. I forgot it's airborne too, so that's not ideal for clearing out things. Um, here we go. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit bell. Ooh, no, that's not ideal. I meant to hit a uh, sacrifice that squirrel, but I don't think it'll make a big difference. So let's put it in front of the coyote to get that big damager off the board. There we go. And we can put a worker ant 
Well, if we do that, get rid of the sparrow, we'll then have a more powerful coyote come up, so I think we're just gonna have to maintain what we have here. Okay. And how about we drop him here? Now we have a wolf. And it's my more powerful upgraded wolf too. Okay. If I put it down, I'd take out both lanes, so I think I want to do that. And now we have a rabbit, so we can put down our worker ant, and we'll go from there. Alright, feels like we still have a chance here. Good. making that one. Let's see, what is this? A bell ringing. Hmm. I don't know what that does. Let's see. Alright. I think I will sacrifice the long elk. Somebody needs that power more than it. How about... How about this stoat? We're gonna have an overpowered stoat, we'll call it the goat stoat. And I like to do the duplicates using the wolves so we can have like a mega strong wolf. Oops. So let's go that route. Hopefully we'll make it there. Okay. And who should go out first? Somebody should probably go after that raven. And that could be this guy. So let's do it. Okay. And we'll do this. We'll get the worker ant on the board so that he can start taking things out. Uh-oh. Getting low on power. Um, hmm. Well, getting our wolf on the board could be our saving grace. I'm trying to see if Longhorn would help us. Kind of don't want that raven to be replaced with the porcupine, but it's going to happen. Um... So maybe having the pronghorn would actually make more sense because it would get one, two damage and just keep damaging. So maybe that would make more sense than the worker ant, the wolf. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the wolf. And I will take out... The ant. Okay. And I could get the pronghorn going too. Um, anyways, and that would get two damage every time. Huh. We'll save it. Okay. Okay, we'll get two damage, and I don't think it's going to be enough, unfortunately. There's just too much damage going on. Let's just see how it goes. Okay. Now we have another wolf we can play. Should that wolf come out to play though, is the question. I could put it in front of the coyote or in front of the sparrows and knock the sparrows out for good. Um, that pronghorn is about to die. That stoat is relatively weak um, versus the sparrows that are always going to put damage on the board. 
Hmm. Well, we're about to take on two damage. I think this is the best thing. We'll just keep going. There we go. It's gonna. I think it's gonna balance out now that our wolf will be able to uh, focus its damage. And I think now I should take out the pronghorn and play it. Play the wolf in front of the coyote. There we go. And I think I turned that one around. Oh, a turkey vulture. Don't mind if I do. Wow, that's a lot of excess. Now I wish I'd made it over to the trapper. And let's see. Maybe I should add the coyote to the pack since I have the uh, you know wolf coyote family um, sigil bear right now. All right, time for duplicates. I think I only had the wolf, and that's okay. All right, we had three and four and three and two. Let's see what we get. Six and six. Nice. Mega wolf. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to go with the boulder and tooth pull. And scissors would be nice. Time for the boss. Okay. Nice. We got our power wolf here. Um, that could actually take out the pack mule in one swing. That would be hilarious if we could get that going. I think we're going to have to build up for it though. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just do this classic number here. And go with that. Off a little bit there, excuse me. So, what can we do? This is gonna over damage and take out the adder. So, if I could start saving up enough to play our powerful wolf, I think that would be ideal. And now we have enough, so let's go ahead and get it on the board. I know I'm gonna lose it to the prospector here in a minute, but it's okay, we'll have enough cards coming back from um, our, oh, we didn't get the pack mule. I didn't think about it being that severe. Okay, well, this might turn us upside down then. Let's see, need to, all right, we do have a coyote now, so that's cool. Let's put that down while we wait and see what happens. Got a rabbit out of it, so that's good. Yeah, we may make it through without taking out the pack mule. That's kind of wild. Let's put the smoke down. Oh, an adder. Actually, we will... Well, we don't have enough space without taking out the dog, at least. Or, I mean, uh, the coyote. So let's just do this for the moment. Alright, thank you for the bones. Um... We can send out, yeah, it's mean stoat we have, single hit stoat now. Okay, wow. This combo might take me all the way. I'm feeling good about things, like better than my first two runs, so let's keep going. Douse, the amoeba, and the mole man. Hmm. Let's see how this fits into the big picture. I like the wild card um, card. That's nice. The amoeba gets a random sigil. Just not sure I'm a fan of that yet. 
Hmm. It would be good to have something that consumes bone, though. So we'll do that. Okay. Power or a card check, and then um, I always forget what this one is. I think it's the. Uh, oh, what is this one? I don't know. This is a hard pick. I see a unique one up here that's not usually in the main game. Um, and item wise, I don't need any items, unfortunately. I guess let's go this route. Always forget who this one is. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the Predator. Okay. Wanting the pelts. Good. Needed to do that exchange, anyways. Um, the Malgum is nice and powerful for only two blood, so I think I'll take it. And we'll get a pack rat out of this, so that'll work. Okay. And... What else do we need to do here? Looks like time for a fight. Okay, interesting start. We got our power wolf and our bullfrog right out of the gate, and the mantis is coming in. So, kind of feel like why don't we take that out nice and early? Hit it in its blind spot. Okay, and we have a squirrel. Can't play it. And we're going to take a damage or two. Um, but we're in a danger zone here, so I'm thinking we need to either cut a card or use our blocker. I think we're going to use our blocker and put it here. I think that might give us just enough, but be safe. I want to put the squirrel in the way. I'm a little bit worried about this otherwise. Okay, and now I should be able to put down my amalgam, or actually the wolf. Either of them would be good, but oh, this isn't a good situation. I think he's still possibly going to win, believe it or not. Because um, the mantis will come in and do its attack after, and take out whatever is here, and the bee will be a problem. So maybe putting the wolf down will still work somehow to see what happens do that and we'll put down this rabbit so we need the protection right now quite frankly okay and now we could get the amalgam down and then take out the bees or the mantis. Either way, we'll have more power on the board with this move. And we'll put our rabbit down just to hold it. Here we go. That's turning the tide. Now we're thinking of portals. Oh, an alpha. Good. So. No space. Okay, either way, I think we've got this. Okay, I think we will go the route of the trapper. We don't have another duplicate anyways. You took only what you could afford. Okay, we can do golden pelt and that's it. So, that will get a few new cards, even if they're lower grade, we'll take it. Okay. What do we want painted? <laughs> we could do another super powerful wolf guard, that would be hilarious. Um, now the single blood stoat, now that's tempting. Um, let's do it.
very curious to see how well this comes out. Okay. I'll take it with a little bit less uh, hit points. Getting all those other benefits is key. Alright, a beehive and a rattler. And it's a stinky rattler, too. I think putting the stoat here, and then it'll scoot over and kill the rattler on the next step. Sounds like a fine plan. So we'll do that and continue. Oh. Let's see. I think I just did. Let's call it a blender. <laughs> I should have held on to the suit a little bit longer. That was not good. Um, wow, they're going to have enough power on the board. I think I want to need to cut the card. Because otherwise they're going to get 5 damage on us. And there we go. That buys us time. I'm going to try not to hit the beehive if I can avoid it. And we can take out both of these adders in one swoop with the pack rat. Oh, the stinky. It got me again, darn it. I got too excited. Oh well. Goodbye, pack rat. Too many snakes in here. Um, I think it's going to be the end of me too. Like I don't see a recovery path out of that. So, I think we're just going to have to give it to him. Um, could let him take my pelt, but I think at this point it's just better to let him have it. He needs up one of my items, and we're just going to have to take the loss, I believe. Man, that just went from a uh, reasonable fight to super hard really quickly. I hope for more too, man. That was not a good round. Alright, what do we want? I would say... Let's see, we don't have any birds and we also don't have... Whatever this monster thing is. Let's go with it. A skink. I guess that's amphibians. And... Could do this or we could get items and what items are we down to? We've got the fan and the tooth puller. We'll go this route. Alright, who should we sacrifice here? We'll do the random card, see if something special happens. Alright, bones on the board. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of cards and so moving through them fast. <laughs> this has been, I think, my longest of the three runs that I've done today, so I'm proud of it so far. Um, taking out mana seems like the high priority here, so it is just one hit point. Maybe we will use the skink on it. Okay. We're just one bone away from being able to afford the coyote as well. So that's good. Alright. There we go. And now we should have enough for the coyote. So we will put it over here. And uh, Bullfrog will take it out, but that's okay. We'll get some hits on the board. At least hold things up. Okay. And... Oh man, more coming at us. So we need to we need to think about this one. I don't know what the bell ringing thing is about, so I'm a little confused about using that. Hmm. I know we're gonna get one damage there, so another damage off of that mana. So it's only two, I think. I'm doing the math right. Alright. 
well, I think I'm stuck to kind of have to rely on whatever this guy is going to do, so let's see what its power is. Oh. Hmm. I don't think that's going to be enough to save me. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to uh, see another round lost here. Uh, let's see. I think this might be our only chance. I don't know, a wolf. It's enough power that I could take out a whole section of things, but however, I'd have to sacrifice two things, but I do get a rabbit out of it. So if I sacrifice both of them and then I get a rabbit out of it. I don't think it's going to matter, but let's just see. I think it's down to literally 1 HP, so uh, creatures will attack as though they have the airborne sigil. Maybe that'll do it. Um, because that'll get me 6 on the board. Okay. Good. That'll I think that, that will fix it for me. So I can put this down and Wolf will take them out. And I oh, hope we got a Mantis God coming in now. It's cheeky. Um, we'll just keep going. There we go. Oh, that was luck. I was sweating in my seat here. I did not think I was going to be able to pull that off. Let's do another random. I wonder if you can buy two double random cards, what you get, if anything. That would be funny to try. I wish I held on to the other one now. All right, should I do a sigil or should I do a wood carving? Um, I could see sacrificing something somewhere. I just don't have enough that I'm happy with to do that with though. Maybe putting an amoeba on the stoat would be kind of funny. Um, hmm. Maybe I will do another wood carver just in case I get a better situation than I've been having. Alright, we could have skink or we could have our amphibian situation. We've got one. Uh, let's see. Two. I think there's two amphibians. Malgum actually counts, I think, two, so three technically. Um, and for the wolf, we have one, and Malgum counts as a second, I think. And Cody would be a third. So it's kind of the same either way. Maybe. Let's see. Straw can tell us create its place, and a card bearing a sigil moves to the right. Hmm. I don't know if I'd be any more powerful than having the rabbit, so we'll just go with this head. Just so we have a more... Oops. There we go. I think we'll stick with our current sigil setup. Okay. And a power-up opportunity. Alright, who do we want to give some power? I think making the amoeba more viable sounds useful. We'll do it. Alright, we're not gonna risk it. I always fear getting greedy and losing my cards that way. Okay. Time for a boss fight. And it's the dreaded angler. Putting out bait buckets right away. Okay. So. We'll put a squirrel down here. He didn't put down his angle, so we will do a skink. And 
That'll protect against damage for a turn at least. Okay, and need to get something on the board. I think we're just going to have to fill this one out. Fortunately, he's going to target something. Um, don't want it to be that skink. So we could put Squirrel down and that'll block the Great White when he pulls it over. So I think that might be the best thing we can do for the moment. Oh, of course it travels too. I forgot about that. Darn it. Always forget about that order. All right. I think that we've already lost, so this is just uh, looking like too much already. Well, I don't see a way out of it. Um, especially if all I'm doing is well, if he pulls away that. That'll still do two damage though. That's just not good enough. Um, and I'm out of upgrades. I think this is probably it, unfortunately. Thank you, Wizard. I really like your uh, encouragement. This has been a tough battle. So, I think. I think we're just going to have to let it go because there's a. Uh, Let's see a clear way out. Just trying to think one more second. I wish I understood the bell ringer aspect of this. All right, let's just see it go down. Yep, that was it. Wow, 129 cards drawn this time. Man, only two bosses defeated too. That felt like that one went a lot longer for some reason. Yeah, that did stink, man. I uh, I was really surprised that I didn't get a little bit further on that one because I just don't know when Casey's mod ends. I might need to look it up because... Uh, it has been so difficult trying to advance on uh, this, and apparently I still haven't beaten it even once. So um, I'll have to look up, see how difficult that is. So thanks for watching. This has been STR Rank. You follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Rank, and I'll replay on YouTube soon. And thanks to our new follower today. And thanks again to Wizard Max. Good seeing you. We'll see you in another stream. Thanks, and have a good one.